Hello everybody and welcome back to Undercrease Bar. We are now on 6th of March and uh, spring is coming here really fast and we are going to get busy right here. So as you can see I have nearly finished finished all these uh, expanding these grass fields and doing these wood chips and uh, mm, money has gone a little bit up we just take these few logs out of here and we are then finished and uh, what do I have on my list to report you? Yeah, so production of wool has begun obviously for two this is the second day and we are going to be able to sell our first load soon. Let's that guy over there yeah i've already grinded all the stumps away and uh, these fields are ready to be lined and uh, let's see what else i think we have to put this guy up from here so we can get the weight on the other end so it won't tip so this have been quite lubricate lubricative thing this wood chipping but uh, it takes a lot of work and uh, basically had to make wood chip every day through the wind but uh, money wise it's been pretty pretty good and we are we are getting really good euros out of this need a sip of my morning coffee here ah, wonderful all right so we are now also able to make little upgrade upgrades of our equipment as I think uh, I will put on town now so this is the last this is the last load of wood chips and uh, let's get this to the uh, so I can show you here yeah so these are ready for to expand and combine together these fields but we are going to cut the first fir make the first cut anyways from the air and probably put the put it in the uh, pangasala and there's a uh, couple of new things that the store have shop has uh, the dealer has proposed us as as, uh, as uh, cross cutting machinery so we will probably take a look at those on the next uh, next to that episode but when the when the grass is ready to harvest on uh, 68 67 percent and then i'll just cut them away uh, what else yeah the wood chip contract which we had this winter that is now complete there's no more minus degree weather average weather on the forecast so that is completed and uh, 
I also took the um, when we bought the poplar fields, which we are going to plant poplar. I took the soil samplers, samples of those, and uh, they were they were uh, pretty much standard. They have all sorts of soil types, so that is it. So. Um, I sell this load and uh, take the little, uh, actually I will move all the forest gear to this, uh, to the shop yard and uh, we will take a look what we are going to sell and uh, I don't need the forestry equipment anymore, they are going away and uh, probably one of the tractors so I will see you in a bit when I get the uh, lime spreader and uh, it's on the uh, sheep farm so I will see you in a while yeah I'm back but uh, I just wanted to see uh, great detail on, on uh, this uh, on this trailer of the motor you can as you can see when it has a little bit wear hours the uh, back tailgate is you know, a little bit crooked it's a, it's like this and uh, I've noticed it uh, so yesterday game day and uh, I just wondered if, if it's from uh, from uh, you know made in, in purpose because it really look good but Let's make a little test here. Let's let's uh, let's repair this. Does it does it go straight? So now it's like that, okay. And uh, let's repair it. Did it went <laughs> straight? No. Oh, I'm so disappointed. But. The I don't know if it if it goes straight if you uh, wash it, but uh, I noticed that. But that it that definitely wasn't like that earlier. All right, but anyway, I just wanted to show you that little t detail on that. So I'll get those tractors and gear over here. Okay. Here we are at the uh, sheep farm and uh, let's grab this lime spreader here. So we have lime on there so we will yeah we will empty this on the, on this grass field over here. Uh, I believe these are not registered as a field. Yep. Let's open this guy. Yeah, they are not. So we will uh, start to spreading over here. Is it open? Yes. Alright. Uh huh. <laughs> it's not open. Let's open that sucker. Yeah, now it's good. Now it's good. Yeah, let's do this thing here. So I will empty this this one, and uh, we will go to the back to the store with this spreader. Uh, we are going to sell it and switch it up a little bit bigger one. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. All right, guys, we are back here on the store. So we have now all of our forestry equipment here. Let's get rid of these. Uh, repair, yeah, we saw that. Repair, yeah, that. So that was 60,000 we got back from the mulcher and it cost 68 so uh, it's much more effect cost effective to buy it and then sell it than 
<laughs> leaves it for whole winter. Is it all? Oh, we have a little wood here, and this guy. Oh, I'll get rid of this with that uh, stump grinder at some point. But yeah, anyway, we need to get some new equipment. So we need a larger lime spreader, and I have this in mind. Never used it before. Oh, it's expensive, but uh, oh, sh shoot, pretty expensive. But it can also it can also spread manure, so we could turn a thirty-two meter wheat. So um, I think we'll go with that. It's probably a really little too big at this point, but. <laughs> I have plans for the future. Let's, yeah, that's good. The uh, red one and tires. I kind of like these ones. Michelin lizard. Yeah, we take these. These are quite chunky. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's buy that one. Like so. And then we need some power. And we are going to get uh, this guy over here. <laughs> so actually, actually the tractor is cheaper than the uh, spreader. Oh, you gotta m spend some money to make some money. Yeah, we'll take this. And I think we will go with the silver wheels. These look pretty, pretty good. And uh, main color. Hmm. Yeah, the red one is, is pretty neat. And uh, we we'll keep that also red. So configuration, I think I need a yeah, front hydraulic. We will take that one. Uh, Mm, and uh, we, yeah, I will use these Nokians on, on my tractors on this series because masses, masses have them. They look pretty different and neat. Uh, what do we have? We wait. We have twins, all twins, communal standard, standard with weights. Yeah, I think we'll take that GPS. We can't use it, but we'll take it. It's a narrative thing because we have the presence of army, so we have to have it. Engine setup. Uh, we got the other one, Dyna 6 also. So I think we go full all in, yeah. 200 that's good front load no we don't need that at this point we can add it later if we need it yeah we'll go with that okay so lost a little money on there but we will get it back I'm sure okay so yeah Alrighty. Wow. Great sound. Get a great sound. And I think this tractor will fit with this one pretty nicely. Looks looks like right size. Uh, do we need a front weight? I don't know. Let's... Uh, I think it's uh, time for ton thumbnail. Yeah, that will going to be good. So I will uh, take a thumbnail nail of this, and uh, I will see you when we get uh, this full and uh, go to the cross field.
uh, the poplar fields I mean <laughs> so I w just wanted to show you we are going to sell or that I forgot to record it but uh, while this is filling up we are going to sell this one the way that was the re original plan for it so let's see how much we can get of these guys <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, we'll sell this. And uh, by the way, if you're playing this map, uh, you can get into the garage. You know, this door over here doesn't have a collision. So you can drive it in on that door and you can go through here. So if you didn't know, that's the that's the thing on here. Yeah, so uh, let's sell this. Yep, sell that one. A little bit more money back, and also this one. Repair and yep. All right, so we get a somewhat sixty, fifty-seven thousand back. All right, so I fill this baby, put this last pallet in, and uh, we'll see you at the field. All right, we are here on the poplar fields. Let's uh, put this guy on. How wide is it? Oh, that's pretty wide spread. Nice. Let those beacons off. Yeah. Pretty cool. So, I think this is good time to wrap up the episode we are getting in the spring lots of stuff to do and uh, I will spread these our fields the poplar and grass fields and uh, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching and please hit that subscribe button and uh, like and a little bell over there and you will see the next one what we're doing. We are going to do a little uh, spraying and uh, putting some herbicide on, on our already planted grass fields and uh, we will see you on the next one really m much appreciated for watching this and see you later bye bye